Hey Exodus family, I have some really big news about my family and I that I'm both sad and excited to share with you. The Chapman family is moving. I've accepted a role as a lead pastor. Starting in November, I'm going to be joining Bellwether Community Church in Jackson, Mississippi. Over the last three years, the Lord has gradually been growing a desire in me to preach, to lead and develop culture. And I've had so many great opportunities to grow in these areas here at Exodus. And as I think about my future, I believe that any future ministry will always be marked by the ways that you've loved me and allowed me to grow into the role of a pastor. This is such a healthy church. And because things have been so great here, it really makes us sad. We are so very sad to go. And this is such a huge loss for my family. And part of the way that I know how great a blessing that each of you have been to my family and I is that we feel a growing sense of loss around all that we've enjoyed here. God's grace through you has been amazing. And we wanna say thank you. We want you to know that we're so deeply grateful for Exodus, her leaders and people. Thank you so much. You have made my work a joy. In Hebrews 13, 17, it says to submit to your leaders and to let it be a joy to them. And I want you to know that for 11 years, it has been my joy. Each of you has had a part to play in that. The example that you've set for me of the church body, it makes me so hopeful for the future. I believe that God has so many good works planned out for this people. He's working and I've watched so many of you faithfully join into his work sacrificially living for the sake of the kingdom. And this church has been a great vision of God's kingdom coming on earth as it is in heaven. So thank you for being a family to us. Thank you so much. I pray that God would continue to glorify himself in this, his body and his people called Exodus Church. Well, 2020, right? Um, Nathan, more is gonna be said in the future. We are so grateful. We're grateful for the 11 years that you've spent here. Uh, we're grateful for Jesus calling you to a new opportunity. Uh, we're grateful and we're grieving. Um, now, I know for many of you, this comes as a bit of a surprise. Um, however, I want us to remember that it is not a surprise to our God. In fact, God has been at work in this process to call Nathan to a new ministry opportunity. And so we can know that those things will not be the same. We will be okay. That's what I've been telling myself, <laughs> that it's not going to be the same, but we will be okay. Now, I imagine you have some questions about what's next. Uh, I want to answer that in two parts. First, the priority right now is to celebrate and say goodbye to Nathan and his family. Nathan's last Sunday with, uh, with us will be October 11. We're going to honor him in our services and have a reception that afternoon. Um, this will be an opportunity for us to celebrate Nathan and his family. Uh, you can write notes, uh, you can give gift cards, whatever would help you celebrate Nathan and his family for his 11 years of service to Jesus here. You'll get more information about that in the coming weeks. We'll also be working to create clarity for everyone. We're gonna be working with uh, various leaders and teams that Nathan has led to make sure things keep running as smoothly as possible in worship and in uh, community groups. The elders and staff are already working on this and we're gonna do our best to make sure everyone serving in these areas has clarity about what they need to do. Finally, before I pray, it may be that God is calling some of you to join the Chapmans on this journey, to move with them to a new place for a new adventure on the mission of God. Please know that if God is calling you to do that, we want you to follow God's call. Now, I want us to pray. Pray with me. Father God, thank you so much for this brother. His name means gift from God, and he is one. Lord, I pray that you would uh, continue to bless Nathan and Casey and their family. Lord, I pray you continue to, uh, to make their path straight as they follow you on this journey. Father, we pray for uh, these next few weeks that he would feel celebrated and honored. Lord, I pray for the next few decades of his ministry. Lord, I pray that you would uh, just continue to give him all the grace he needs to be the man you've called him to be in this new place. Father, we pray for Bellwether. We pray that you would bless that church, uh, that it would be a blessing to Jackson in ways it's never thought possible. Lord, we pray that you'd use Nathan uh, for your purposes, that he would trust you and depend on you. 
And Lord, that your power and might would be very evident through his ministry there. Father, we're grateful for your kindness to us. We trust you in this moment. We trust you with our future. And we pray all this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen.